So, my name is Christopher Sonia and I volunteered in La Ceiba, Honduras with the medical dental program from July 4th to August 1st. So, my broader view coordinator, Raphael, bent over backwards for us. He was very attentive to all our needs and well-being. When I wasn't able to perform the work I came here to do, Raphael worked tirelessly to place me where I could be of use. The most surprising thing I experienced at the program was that the local fire department, the Bomberos Ambulance, had been broken for a month. I recently graduated from a paramedic program in Ontario and came over to learn with and to teach the Bomberos some skills I learned on the road and in school. The most surprising thing at the accommodation was actually after having read the testimonials of past volunteers, I was made very well aware of the cold running water here, having to throw toilet paper into the bin, and how hot the climate is. I was most surprised, however, that um, how few bugs there are here, which isn't a bad thing. The most surprising thing about the country was, until now, I'd only ever seen this kind of poverty on television. It was very surprising to me to see the conditions that a lot of people here are forced to live in. In spite of this, Hondurans are very friendly people who, who don't consider themselves are done by. The most difficult to experience at the program was for the first two weeks I was at the Bombero station. Uh, when the ambulance was not running, people would call in every day asking for help and we could only wish them luck. At the accommodation, I had no prior experience speaking Spanish. My host family spoke no English, so communication was difficult at first. With my Spanish lessons and a lot of patience and kindness for my host family, we closed the communication gap quickly. Um, at the most difficult thing in the country was, again, without any prior speaking Spanish, it was difficult to communicate with a lot of the locals. There's tips for the for future volunteers. Bring a lot of shorts and light shirts. Additionally, bring some nice clothes. There are a lot of opportunities to go to formal events here that uh, require long pants. I was caught without formal wear um, after having been invited to a wedding. Thanks to Raphael, I arrived looking suave. Continuing volunteering with the Bomberos. They love clothing that has to do with emergency medical service and fire. I suggest bringing plenty of EMS and fire shirts to trade with the Bomberos for their hats and shirts. As far as donations, the Bomberos are in dire need of personal protective equipment. Gloves and masks are excellent donations. Additionally, they could do with antibacterial and antiviral wipes, cleaning solutions for their equipment, because they reuse their bag valve mask and their suction unit. Um, gauze and trauma bandages, sea collars, and virtually anything else EMS related. As far as the weather, it is very humid with frequent uh, periods of rain during the summer months. So pack light clothes and an umbrella. So my personal uh, broader view program testimonial. The medical dental program here in La Ceiba offers an excellent opportunity to perform. The doctors and staff here are very happy to teach those who are willing. The same goes for the Bomberos. They are so keen to learn and very patient and happy to teach as well. Myself, and my friends, family, and other EMS and fire across the world started a crowdfunding campaign to repair their ambulance. We managed to have it fixed two days before I left for Canada. Though La Ceiba is not an overly busy system, it has a lot of sick and injured people who need care. In the time that the ambulance had not been running, though, Raphael would tirelessly place me elsewhere where I could put my skills to use. At first I was placed in the clinic, which was quite out of place for a paramedic, but I settled in quickly as the doctors here and the nurses were so eager to, to teach me and showed me new skills and ways that I could help them at the clinic. I then moved to the social security clinic where I stayed in the emergency room for a couple days. And I, I found the ER to be much more familiar to myself and was able to work within my skill set a lot more. So, to volunteers who are wishing to volunteer at the main hospital, there was conflict with other volunteer groups, so it is a very slow process in gaining access to the hospital, so I suggest having transcripts or diplomas ready well ahead of time. Um, I would describe my accommodation, meals and security, as excellent. A proper Honduran meal will have rice, beans, and plantains prepared in a variety of forms, as to not get dealt with. I was fortunate in that I stayed in a 
villa in the backyard of my host family that had a large fan, a color TV, and a bathroom with a shower. The neighborhood we stayed in was very secure with patrols 24 hours a day. My favorite memory of this trip, during the program, um, it meant a lot to me to, to get to see and participate in the ambulance running again before I, before I left. My favorite memory on this trip was going lights and sirens to a call with the Bomberos for the first time. My favorite memory of the country, it's hard to pick, I have several favorite memories. Volunteer work will attract the, the best of people, the most friendly of people are very fond of adventure. I had a great time whitewater rafting on the Rio Cangreal, speaking Spanglish on the news with the other volunteers, jumping off the rocks and uh, trees into the, the Rio Maria, and uh, snorkeling at uh, Caes Cachinos. And uh, my broader view, USA support prior to traveling was perfect. Um, the broader view coordinators, um, Sarah, and uh, pardon me, Sarah, was able to answer any of my questions or assist me the day of my requests. And uh, in case that uh, Sarah was ever out of the office, I would hear back with them. The website information was perfect. It was very easy to use and very informative. And I am very willing to speak with uh, prospective or broader view volunteers. I encourage anybody who is looking to volunteer with the uh, Bomberos here to contact me. And I found about the program as I was Google searching other volunteer programs and found that this was the best program for uh, a paramedic. Thank you. Chris for volunteer with our brother B Honduras. Have a safe trip home and we hope to see you back very soon.